So many anglers debate the merits between monofilament and braided line, like one's better than the other. And what I found is, especially as a, as a jig fisherman, is that there's so many times where I'll catch way more fish on monofilament, and there's other days where I'll catch more fish on braid. And so I never want to pigeonhole myself and say that one is better all the time because I've encountered so many different situations where one will just seem to shine or outperform the other. Now, a couple of situations where I really like to use monofilament is early in the year, especially whenever the fish are really lethargic and they're just shut down. It seems like monofilament will give those fish just a more fluid and subtle presentation. And at the same time, if I'm fishing in weeds and I have to snap the jig a lot, or if I'm fishing in deep water and I'm missing fish because of the stretch in monofilament, I'll catch a lot more fish in braid. On the flip side, if I'm fishing in deep water and I'm missing fish because of the stretch of monofilament, or if I'm fishing in weeds, for example, I need to be able to snap that jig through the weeds and clean the jig from the weeds. Sometimes I'll have more success with braided line. And so a lot of times I'll use braided line whenever I can because I like the durability, but there's just times where one will outperform the other. And so what I encourage anglers to do is, is not to bait the merits. They both have their time and place, but a lot of times I'll have identical rods in the boat and I'll have one rigged up with monofilament, I'll have one rigged up with braid. And so if you're struggling where you're missing fish and you, you just have a terrible batting average, switch from one to the other. So what so often happens, I think, is for example, sometimes when I'm using monofilament, those fish hit it and I just have too much stretch where I'm just rolling the fish off. I'm just not connecting with the fish. Or I just need that extra sensitivity. I need that, that extra connection, especially if I'm fishing in deep water, if I'm making long casts, or if I need to feel the presentation more. On the flip side, sometimes that can be too sensitive. Sometimes I can react too quickly. And so if I'm missing fish on braid, a lot of times just simply switching back over to monofilament will cure the problem. And so if you're missing fish, switch from one to the other and you're going to catch a lot more fish on a jig this season.